What's up, y'all? I'm Black Talent Sport. And this is Explorer Power Series. Now, I'm just going to be doing a couple of videos that basically will go over uh, how to make power with your Explorer based on what parts are available. But first, I want to remind you guys to please continue to smash that like button, subscribe, hit all so that you get notified when I come out with these videos. Now, let's get right into today's video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Explorer Power Series video. And in today's video, um, we're going to be talking about the um, turbo upgrades. All right now, if you just to kind of again reiterate uh, what I'm doing here with this series of videos, uh, I'm basically just making videos that um, basically we can talk and so that I can tell you about. Um, what parts are available to make more power in your in our Explorer? You know, our Explorers are just, they're underdogs. Not too many companies um, make parts for us to increase our power and enjoy our Explorers. But there are companies that actually make parts. And this that is the goal for me, uh, making this series of videos for you guys. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, for turbo upgrades, um, we basically have three options here. And they're very good ones, I must say, very good ones. Um, first up um, is Gearhead. Gearhead sells uh, some some turbos for our explorers, man. I mean, it's it's probably, that would be my first option given some circumstances, you know, which I'm gonna go through in a moment here. Um, the Gearhead turbos are basically modified turbos from remanufactured stock turbos. Um, and what does that basically mean? Uh, basically, they have uh, they have bigger wheels. They're like 41 millimeter compressors, and um, they're high flow turbines. All right, and they're built basically. They give you the option of sending in core turbos, or if they have turbos available, they'll build it from remanufactured uh, remanufactured turbos. Now, they are, I really like um, the fact that they are actually doing that. Uh, because of course you know the gear gearhead uh, if you have a gearhead tune like your boy here uh you know it really works out in in your favor especially with knowing the specs of the turbo they know the specs so they can just um revive you purchase the turbos and they revise your tune load up that file and boom <laughs> um i really like the power gains now the power gains uh between 400 and 510 horsepower yeah, that's a really comfortable range to be in. Personally, you know, I'm okay with 465. Uh, but if I can get 500, that'd be cool. 510, hey, that's even better, right? <laughs> so I like that option. Um, and these are on, this is on 93 tune, 93 um, gas. So for stock, you got stock, um, stock turbos, 93, uh, modified turbos, 93, and when you're on E30, that's when you're getting that uh, the big power range, that 500 power range. Now they also have uh, an even bigger turbo option, but you won't even see it on the website. But if you know, you know. Uh, the big 3R, I think it's called 3RS. But that turbo, they only will only sell you it if you have a built motor. So let's say if you built, if you uh, purchased a uh, like I say a four liter motor, four liter EcoBoost motor, then you know. Or if you built your bottom end, rods, bearings, and all that stuff, then you you should get their, their three RS turbos. All right, let's move right along to the second option here for turbo upgrades for our explorers. And that's going to be ATP turbos. ATP turbos for the longest was only the second option. Here's the third option now, but we'll get to that in a little bit. ATP turbos. Um, now this. On, the, on this particular company's website, you will not see a listing for the Explorer. You're going to see the listings for the show, the Taurus show. Um, the shows and the Explorers are pretty much the same vehicle. <laughs> you know, one, the Explorers are just heavier. Um, on a lot of parts, they're interchangeable. Some of them, some parts they're not, but this is one of them, thankfully, that they are interchangeable. So for ATP turbos, you are going to have to look up the show option, the, the Taurus show. I really like these um, these turbos. Um, the main reason is um, 
well, I won't get into maybe just for that, but there's one, one aspect of these turbos that you have to also consider is the coolant line. Uh, the coolant line is included with the with, with the kit because of the center cartridge is kind of is, is different than the stock turbo. So in order for the coolant line to be used, um, you have to use the line that comes with this kit, and it's like a steel braided line, and it's provided. You know, because the, the, the port is on the opposite side, you need a different line to mount it to the, uh, the pipe. Uh, these turbos have bigger wheels and housings or are bored out, um, which is a very good thing. So they're, the turbo size is the same, but just everything on the internals is bored out to, to, fix, to, to, to accommodate for bigger wheels. Um, and I like the up the, uh, the, the the power potential for these particular trucks. Those are in the 600 power, horsepower range. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. The third uh, option for upgrading our turbos is going to be a company called CR Performance. Now, I just recently found out about this particular company. I'm not sure how how long they've been around, but they offer something. Uh, that's really, really uh, interesting. It's way more cost, cost efficient. I'm not gonna say it's on a budget, but you know, if you if you're a little, if you're trying to do a little more uh, bang for your buck, you want to get a little more performance out of the turbos, and you don't necessarily want to go the option of uh, the ATP or the gearhead turbos, which is a little, a lot more pricier than this option here. Uh, like I said, this option is a lot more cost effective, which is re up replacing the i'm not sure if you're supposed to pronounce this as a word or not but the chra cartridge upgraded cartridge or upgraded core sets that's what they have they have the, the cores that you can upgrade you know the center section of the turbo cartridge um and you can also just purchase wheels or they also have like rebuild kits for, for the turbo for like new seals and billet uh billet wheels and everything um <clears throat> Now, they're bigger than stock. In fact, I'll throw up a little picture here that you can clearly see that they're bigger than the stock wheel. Uh, but it doesn't look like it require any um, honing or boring of, uh, of the housings. They fit right inside of the, the stock housings of the turbos, but just the wheels are bigger, which is very good. Um, and the, like I said, the wheels are definitely um, their billet and the price i mean would you look at that we're talking about less than 800 dollars that that's that's beautiful but the only thing you know with these particular this particular option is if this is provided that your housings that you're taking off are in good condition if your houses are in good condition then you could still just replace the, the, the center section which comes with the blade uh comes with both both wheels they're not in good condition then you're gonna to have to slap on some new turbos period <laughs> all right and uh of course all of this is going to re uh, require a revision of your tune so contact your tuner let them know your, your turbo specs and the fact that you have just upgraded your turbos so that you'll be in the clear with uh taking full advantage of the turbos along with your tune all right well that's going to wrap up this particular uh video within the explorer power series um remember to make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel and also clicking all so that you get notified when i come out with the next video and uh speaking of the next video that i am planning to do which will be the fuel system upgrades all right so you're not going to want to miss that one. all right so that's going to wrap up this video i want to thank you guys for watching it please remember to have a blessed day and peace out